Hello! One of my very epic and loyal subscribers recently asked me if I thought Overwatch 2 could achieve the same popularity as Overwatch 1 did when it first came out. And if we take a look at the Overwatch 2 beta viewership on Twitch combined with the Watchpoint pack sales, which by the way raised Overwatch from the 57th most sold game of the month to the 5th, it is clear that people want to play this game. So it's not really a question if Overwatch 2 will get people on board, but rather how long. And I would like to think that Blizzard knows this. We do not want to be the next Halo Infinite, Hyperscape, or fucking, I don't know, Knack 2. Everybody is concerned about getting consistent content to keep people playing this new game, and it's great that Blizzard came out with a rough outline for what the first few months of Overwatch 2 will look like. This shows us that they are planning ahead for new content, and I applaud them for doing this. But there is one very key thing that Blizzard is keeping from us that could potentially make or break the lifespan of this game, and that thing is called competitive integrity. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Overwatch needs to be a game that needs to always be played as competitive as possible. Like, I'm literally a quick play warrior, I barely play ranked. But I can still acknowledge that competitiveness is very popular in modern gaming. That's how people grind modern PvP games, you climb the ranks. So when your ranked system is ASS, like Overwatch 1, obviously people aren't gonna play it or give a shit about it when they do. Oh, but it's okay, right? Because they're making ranked 2.0, they're revamping the ranks, and 5v5 is gonna change everything. Yeah, but for all we know, Ranked 2.0 is just adding simpler sub ranks. Sure, they could be changing it up, but they haven't told us shit about what format changes there are gonna be, if any at all. Like seriously, we have never had any ranked specific format changes ever. Oh, but what about roll queue and 5v5? Yeah, those aren't ranked changes, those are general format changes. Like, if roll queue was specifically implemented for comp and was only in comp, then it would be a ranked format change. Some examples of competitive format changes would be like hero bans, hero drafts, or hero locking when you can't swap heroes once you choose them. So for six years straight, the only difference between Overwatch's quick play and ranked modes is that ranked has multiple rounds and a number goes up and down. Usually down though. But seriously, even Blizzard doesn't take competition seriously. Like, they try to please everyone at once by not making drastic changes to their ranked mode and it always affects actual competitive players the most. Like Overwatch League, the Overwatch esports scene, the only difference in OWL is that there's predetermined teams and they can pick maps. No hero bans or anything. That's why you see so many fucking mirror matches in Overwatch League, well if you watch it. Cause once there's a dominant meta, the game literally doesn't allow you to do anything about it. Like if Overwatch League can't get competitive features like bans or drafts, then how the fuck is the general player base gonna get them? And don't even get me started on how your Overwatch 1 rank is getting transferred to Overwatch 2 because Blizzard is too pussy to actually make people work for their rank. Like, motherfucker, you are marketing this game as a new game with a new game format, why the fuck would you not reset the ranks? This is literally the perfect time to make huge changes to comp, and if you're not gonna do it with the start of your new game with a rank reset or a ranked format change, then when the fuck are you gonna do it? Certainly not when the entire player base has already gotten their ranks and have been grinding to climb the ladder just for you to then shit on their whole career profile. And also, please do not advertise ranked as this mode that, oh hey, anyone can play, even you, Genji One Trick player, and you, negative one fucking endorsement. Let's be real, okay? You should need to be at least level 100 to play ranked. And that should not even be a hot take. I actually just thought about it. That also reduces smurfing. Okay, maybe there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, we do know that content creators have been talking and meeting with the Overwatch team since like at least February. So maybe they're giving them balancing feedback to show them how to balance their fucking game. I mean, hey, if the game is balanced, then there's less stuff to complain about, right? Or maybe they've told them about some real competitive rework ideas. I mean, we don't really know. But what I haven't talked about yet is the confirmation of clans in Overwatch 2. We don't know how they're gonna work yet, but we know that they're probably gonna relate to in-game tournaments, which were also confirmed. Although, we still don't know when we're gonna get them. I mean, they confirmed tournaments pretty recently in comparison to the time that they've taken on the game, uh, but tournaments will definitely be cool once they come out, and they could potentially be the new ultra-ranked format, depending how they implement them, of course. But yeah, like I said, all this competitive stuff will probably be more of a long-term thing. I'm sure there will be loads of content at launch and even after that, but besides focusing on 
on the game? Blizzard. Market your fucking game. Imagine if more than just the existing Overwatch player base were hyped for Overwatch 2. There would be so much more discussion, hype, and content like mine talking about it. Speaking of which, you should like this video. That would be very cool. And uh, comment any of your thoughts down below. Stupid or smart. I love reading your guys' algorithm- I mean, comments. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe, you goober.